Hello, Froggy here, and today we'll be taking a look at Onslaught Salvation Widow's Court. It's a lot foggier out of the box than the other one, so it's pretty hard to see what's going on, but... I believe in you. The Elixini believe in you. I'm sure you'll be able to manage. Anyways, you'll want to continue until the Wave 10 teleport, and I was hoping the backside would be easy to get out of, but it looks like you approach from the three different directions for the three different onslaughts, so sadly that's not an option. I looked around for quite a while, but unfortunately was only able to find one hole. As you approach the starting area, you'll see there's a little hole off to the left. Unfortunately, it's too little to easily go through, so I would recommend doing this on a stasis titan so that you can use the stasis melee to squeeze your way through. I messed it up there, but luckily the stasis melee recharges faster now. At least if you don't hit anything. That time I got through alright. You've got the same sort of red tint until you get further away. I'm not going to stop by the previous room since it's just the same as last time. Unfortunately, we do need to wait for our grapple to recharge before we can navigate or fly anywhere. The downside of needing to start off with stasis. I'm going to start off here, heading towards the wall in the distance. Hopefully we'll be able to see things, although the fog that just popped up is not bowed terribly well. And with any luck it won't be at True Edge. Well, back a while later and you can see it's getting a bit larger. And oh, we got like a bit of intangible terrain going on. I guess that's kind of neat. Shame it isn't solid. Not that you can easily set spawn points out here anyways. Yeah, it is hard to see anything here. Not even sure if this was the original target, but it is an object, so I am pleased enough with that. Of course, none of this is going to be solid. And it's not terribly detailed up close. And it's at True Edge, so... I guess we're going back to the start. It's a bit hard to spot through all the fog, but the weird ship full of entities is present in this one as well. I'm gonna head out towards it. It's underneath the main map, so you gotta be a little bit careful about hitting the bottom of the box, which is in fact a death barrier. Even when you're pretty close, it is difficult to spot. You can kind of see the spikiness of the pyramid ship now. You basically don't see it until you're right up on it. And here we go. At least you can see it clearly when you're right next to it. You've got the weird jumble of entities in the middle there. And I cannot imagine those elixir are very comfortable. Not sure what the flag says, but I'm sure it's very important. And yeah, that's about it for this place. There is one place that is possibly cooler, at least unique to this map, that is fun to explore. It's over where David DG is. There is, in fact, other solid stuff out of box. The cannon that you see, if you look out to the side of the map. It's a bit of a climb, but not as much as I did for that wall, so... I'm sure you'll manage. Yeah, it is a, uh, a big gun. Kind of like the, uh, 
one you get to see at the beginning of the Witch Queen campaign. Let's get up top where it's a bit more stable. Yeah, don't let your uh, your guard down though. If you die and someone uh, does not res you, you will go back to the beginning. And I'm not entirely sure if Ghost will show up on this thing. Not sure that's the safest place to be sitting. <laughs> But yeah, this is probably the coolest sight to see out here. And it is not easy to see much, unfortunately. Don't think that area is solid. But there's probably some more solid things around. If you're coming out here, you'll probably have buddies with you, and it is probably worthwhile to die to have your ghost to be here or if you die to the true edge. So I'm just going to die to have someone res me and hopefully if I fall to the bottom of the map someone will be able to res me so I don't have to make the climb again. Oh, looks like this isn't back solid. It's a bit surprising. Well, out of box is often full of surprises. Let's go see what else we can find out here. EDZ often has interesting things out in the distance, so hopefully we'll get lucky. Got some tree line, a bunch of probably intangible rocks, and the true edge. Good thing we set our ghost there. Try a different direction. It's a little perilous because the uh, edge of the box is kind of near. But already we've gotten some wrecked buildings. Intangible, of course. Some mildly interesting rocks. And a bit more wreckage. I don't know if we'll be finding much more out here. Especially with all this fog, it's kind of hard to keep yourself oriented. At least we have the, uh, the map marker there. Which we're getting a little close to. Uh, oh, yep, there's the box pull. Anyways, then till next time, happy exploring. <laughs>